Hey, this is Sean from the Jamlins Collective, and today we're looking at the Quirky Rider, a Bluetooth enabled retro style mechanical keyboard. Let's check it out. The Quirky Rider arrives in a box that screams luxury. You know from the moment you open it up and see the all black mesh surrounding the keyboard that something awesome is inside, and the Quirky Rider does not disappoint. The first thing you'll notice about the Quirky Rider when you lift it out of the box is that it's jaw droppingly beautiful. It wouldn't look out of place in an antique store window, and that's really the aim. The Quirky Rider takes a typewriter concept and reinvigorates it for the modern world. In some cases, this is just through completely unnecessary design flourishes, but it still works for me. The tablet phone display holder is positioned on the back of what would have been the paper feeding drum on many typewriters of yesteryear and it's capped with non-functional knobs. The drum also has another purpose aside from a design flourish as it houses three tiny lights to indicate caps lock, bluetooth connection and battery status on the right edge and the micro USB port for charging sits next to the purring button in the back behind the tablet holder. A separate power switch sits under the keyboard's right knob. Quirky Rider have made the audacious claim that the keyboard can last up to three months on a single charge. But after three weeks of use, it hasn't skipped a click or a clack yet. In terms of the build, there are a lot of highs and unfortunately some lows. On the highs is a sturdy feel to it, not heavy, but just solid, weighing in at 2.8 pounds and made from a solid aluminium. What's wonderful about it is that it's covered in matte black powder paint, which adds to the quality. With the keys themselves, they're all mechanical and while the Kali key switches don't have quite a deepest throw as the Cherry MX key switches that are found in many other mechanical keyboards, they're still clacky enough that you can feel that old world charm and reliability. As for the downsides, for all its promo shots, I have to be honest, it was quite annoying using an iPad with it. My home button was blocked. It sat in an awkward angle and some keys seemed poorly mapped, so that was a real negative. But when it came to using it as a Bluetooth keyboard for my desktop, those issues became null. I guess it was the promos that really amped me up for it with my iPad. So wherever you come on the keyboard side of things, whether it's gaming, portability, or video editing, there are keyboards for you in all shapes and sizes. And now for those of us who want a bit of nostalgia for times gone by, there is the Quirky Writer. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.